your love, it bring me peace. I love my family. Your love, it bring me peace. I love my family. Your love, it bring me peace. I love my family. Your love, it bring me peace. Hey guys, it's the gang back to you with another video. So the different settings different setting different vibe mm -hmm. this is a little segue mom and papa yeah. nightcap nightcap where we yeah. where we discuss marriage and relationship so um there's a show that i love to watch it's called the black love documentary it comes on own um and I've been watching it for the past few years and a lot of the topics I love watching because it's always married couples, um, different stages, you know, newlyweds, married five years or, you know, married 40 years, you know, it's just different couples, their ideas, their tips, what's got them through hard times, just, you know, things of that nature. And it always gives me good um, questions to ask George or good topics for <laughs> us to discuss. Um, so I love that show. And so uh, the new season just started and um, they kind of talked about um, how did you get started? And then um, it was a question for newlyweds. Uh, and so us being newlyweds, married two weeks, um, going on our third week, um this will be a good time to come yeah to talk into about it. those two topics so i think we're gonna break it down into um two parts, two parts to you know to make it short and interesting and not actually bore bore you guys right so you know the first the first topic is going to be on how we got started and we never you know? told you guys yeah how we, we never got started, did that so. so i think now would be a good time to let you guys know from the first time we started talking till now when we got married August, August 21st, 21st 2020 and then on the uh, second segment we will actually talk to you guys about what it's like being like a newlywed thing that we actually expected to happen once we got married you know like on how we kind of reacted to it the next day you know share mm -hmm. our little experience with that so stay tuned and let's go with the part one how yeah. did we get started yes how did we get started so we started as really good friends yes. um so we both went to college uh in miami and went to the same school we had a class together that's how we got started we had a u.s history class mm -hmm. together <laughs> he sat behind me in class, and that's kind of how we uh, became friends. And I remember um, we had a, we would have like a little what ten fifteen minute break every day. Yeah. This one never came back after <laughs> break. <laughs> there was a handful of people in our class that just you know once the break came they were out. So our professor was like really upset about that. So he said, um, you know. We're going to have a test next class, but don't tell the people that left. So I'm like, and my mom's like, oh, shoot, let me go ahead and tell homeboy behind me. We got we got a test. I don't, I don't want nobody to fail, you know? <laughs> so I saw him in the hallway, and I'm like, we got a test tomorrow or whatever. And so it was kind of like our little thing. Like, every time we would see each other, you know, outside of class, I was like, did you study? <laughs> we got tests? <laughs> da, 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 you know? So, um... And then we got like really cool to the point where we used to try to cheat yeah. <laughs> on our test. I'm in the Spray front room. row. I don't know how I was trying to cheat, but I'd yeah. be like, what's the question? In the Everybody system? was trying to cheat. Everybody was cheating. It was just like an elective class that you had to take, yeah. you know, make sure everything was good. So but no, I, I actually nothing. liked that class too. Yeah. It was a good class. He was cool though. The teacher yeah, was cool. The professor was, he was dope. He was boring. <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah. And I think you had to come back here, right? Yeah, I came Don't back home. I made the decision to come back came home. Back home and I was um, still down there. Yeah, he was still down there, but somehow we still kept in touch. Yeah. Whenever I have relationship problems, I go to Big Bro. Yeah. You know, that's what I would call him. That's my big brother. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he had relationship problems. He would ask me. We, would, you know, we'd look out for each other. We were still cool. Still kept in touch. And then I remember I came down for spring break. 
Yeah, yeah. That was, was your senior year, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So he's a senior in college. Now I'm a junior. junior. And I um, went to Miami for spring break with my friends. And I saw him. He was all tall, dark and <laughs> handsome. He gave me a big old hug. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and even at that time, I wasn't even looking at him like that. But I was like, that's my brother. And then, um, and it's funny because my friends was like, Y'all like each other like that? And I was like, no, that's my brother. But, you know, because of the way you hug me. Oh, okay. That's like, who holds this? I'm like, ah. <laughs> that's my brother. It's like, nah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> we even stayed with you, but what I had like, so uh, we had like a hotel issue, y'all. And we was just like, oh my God, oh my God. And we was just hopping from like person to person who would let us stay with them. And so George let us stay with him one night, and uh, I think you let the girls take the bed, and I was on the couch with you. And like that whole night, he didn't try nothing. And I just had so much respect for that, because I have a lot, like at that time I had a lot of male friends, but I knew if we was in bed together, <laughs> they would not be like respectful. So, I, so I'm like, the fact that he didn't try anything, his hand ain't accidentally <laughs> touched nothing. Like, yo, so I don't know if I told you, I don't know if I even told you this story, but, um, so it is the movie Think Like a Man that made me, like, I don't know, like, see you differently, like, not just as Big Brother. Oh. So, mind you, I think Think Like a Man came out that summer, and, um, I don't know, like, I had loved that movie so much, even to this day, he'll tell you, I absolutely enjoyed that movie, but, uh, it was, like, I realized, like, me and my friend were having a deep discussion after the fact. And I was like, I, you know, I had been, like, celibate, wasn't in a relationship. And not because it was just I didn't want to be. And I wanted clarity on what I wanted next. And so, and Think Like a Man kind of helped me get clarity on what I wanted next. And so I was like, the next guy that I date, I want us to be friends first. Like, I don't want to just jump in a relationship and try to figure out, blah, 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 like, and I want to be upfront about what I want. And I've always been upfront about what I want. But I was like, I'm going to be very specific. I'm going to be a, like, I'm going to let you know every X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D about what I want, what I expect. And then so you could let me know upfront before you waste my motherfucking time or I waste <laughs> your time that this ain't going to work. Yeah. And so, um, so. She was like, you got any friends that you think you could? And the only person that popped into my head was George. I was like, you know, I'm going to kind of see myself with George. And so that was my first thought of, like, seeing you in another light. But I still wasn't like, I want him to be my man type of situation. It was just like, that was the first thing that kind of popped into my head that made it, like, like went from friend to something else. But it was just like, I could see myself being with him. Like, hmm. Interesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So fast forward to September. Yeah, September 2012. September 2012. I just got out of a relationship that summer. And I mean, I was just doing my thing, you know, just, you know, and I think I reach out. And then somehow the text. Ooh, the text conversation the text went. <laughs> went left. It was like, it was like, you're talking about this? She talking about that, and then you like. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> like we both had our moment at the same time. I was like, oh. Yes. So that's how we started talking, and I think that what two weeks later, I was here in two Charlotte. Two weeks later, he came to Charlotte, and we had I, our... I never thought I would be in Charlotte. Never. Every time I thought of Charlotte, North Carolina was the country. It swore it was the country. The, the porch with the little thing in the mouth and the racket chairs. Yes. I'm like, listen, they met, that might be somewhere in North Carolina, but a damn show yeah. in Charlotte. Like, I had to defend Charlotte all through me being in Miami. And it's so funny because when I went down there, people were like, where you from? And I'd be like, Charlotte. They'd be like, Charlotte, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be, and as soon as I say North Carolina, they'd be like, oh, you country. Oh, you from the country. Y'all got dirt roads. And I'm like. <laughs> and now you say Charlotte, you're like, oh. Nah, exactly. I want to move out here. I'm just yes. like, yeah. So, mm -hmm. But I came to Charlotte, sp spent the weekend. We had our first day of, yeah, like, first day. the crossover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all that, so... Mm -hmm. um, it was a cool weekend, though. I came here to spend the weekend. Mm -hmm. Went back on Monday. 
And then it was on from from and then you know like. See, he's skipping parts. I'm gonna give y'all the details. Cause, okay, then. Cause you Go taking it too slow. Cause see that first date weekend like that was the foundation. Oh, I mean, I came in. We went to the, to the to the um, room. We chill, and then we went to, to dinner. To dinner, yeah. To dinner. We went to rock bottom. Yep, we had a good dinner. Yeah, it was just the vibe, y'all. Like the vibe. Oh, I remember when I picked you up from the airport. Ooh, Jesus, y'all understand? You so fine that day. I was sweating. <laughs> I was so nervous. I had on this little dress, this little yeah. tight dress, y'all. Showing my little curves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like the vibe was just really, really good. Like, we had already knew each other, but like knowing each other on a different level was like, I don't know, it was just refreshing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't feel that way? I was coming, I mean, I was excited for it, but I was nervous. Why you was nervous? Cause I mean, like we have been friends for so long, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just like okay, if this doesn't work out, like the friendship is over. Yeah, because, that's true. You know, stuff but like I that. So. See, you he he thinks about stuff like that, like. But I mean, like that was me then. Yeah. I never, you know, then I wasn't thinking about long term commitment. You know, like to me, it was just like a relationship here and there. You know, and then. You, See, I had I had the vision because <laughs> it wasn't gonna be no relationship here and there, you know. And even like I think after you, oh, okay, so that weekends when you asked me to be a girlfriend, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah. Even though in my mind I had already, <laughs> cause that I realized that is me. I be committing myself. I be committing us to a relationship before you even ask. Mm -hmm. That that's how I was in the past. Um, but yeah, so already in my mind, we was together, but he officially asked and I officially said, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, he met my mom that weekend because yeah. we, we went to my sister's house. He met my sister, we went to my sister's house. Oh, yeah, coming. we went to my that weekend. We did. We did a whole yeah, lot that weekend. we went to your sister again. And then Saturday, we went to, um, Carowinds. Car Scarowinds. That was the Halloween Scarowind. event. Yeah. Uh, so that was October 4th. So October 4th is always a big day for us. Yeah. That was October 4th. I think you, you left out Monday, right? Yeah, I left yeah. Monday. Yeah. Then he went back to Miami, and that's when the nerves really set in. Because it's like, okay, now we're officially together. Now we're officially in a long-distance relationship. How is this going to work? Mm -hmm. I start asking my questions, telling you what I want, what I expect, blah, 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 blah. And it was at this point that I said, I want to be married with it, or, you know, at least engaged, you know, within five years. You probably don't remember that. You was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. everything I said I wanted or or, or um, expected from the relationship, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Da, da, da. <laughs> and let me tell y'all something that I just, it was, I didn't just figure this out, but I figured this out like maybe two years after we was together. He used to, every morning, I would get good morning, beautiful text, and like some lyric, but I thought it was from the heart. Really? Yes. <laughs> Oh, he would text me song lyrics and I'd be like, oh my god, he's so sweet. This is why, yes. <laughs> Half them damn song lyrics was Trey songs. <laughs> so he was hot then, man. He was. Trey songs had the lyrics on deck. Mm -hmm. I listened to a song and then it's something that I was like, ooh, ooh, go <laughs> Let me go back real quick and then I listen back to it and I'm like, hmm. And I just make like a mental note then. Y'all, I ain't realized I that until a whole year later. And then I heard one of the Trey songs. So I'm like, damn, that sound real familiar. <laughs> I don't know why Papa texts me that. <laughs> and I just start pinpointing things. Yeah. But, but yeah, so we tried to do the long distance thing. That was... How was the long distance? <laughs> that was hard. It really was yeah, hard. Yeah, it was very challenging. Just like... I respect those that we doing the long distance. Yeah. If you wouldn't have moved to Miami, do you think we would have Hell no. <laughs> we wouldn't have made it. Hell oh, no. Oh man. Hell no. Oh man. Um, Miami. But okay, so the long so when he left, when he was leaving Charlotte, we made this thing like we would see each other at least once a month. 
I go there, he come here, I go there. But then life happens and that shit don't work out like that. Yeah. So I had plans to go to Miami in November. Life happened. Like a lot of real stuff happened. And was it in November? Yeah. I was supposed to come down there for, uh, around Thanksgiving or something. Yeah, because I think you're supposed to come down there at some point and that's why. Oh, was I supposed to come? You were supposed to come in December, but that didn't happen. And that's why you came down there. Uh, I can't. That's, so that's why yeah, I went down there in January. In January. So yeah. I went down there right a little after uh, New Year's. Yeah, New Year's. I think like January 4th or something. Yeah. Because I know it was before I started at North Rome. Yeah. And it was a good weekend. We went to the beach yeah. and we went to one of mm -hmm. our favorite spots. Like whenever we go to Miami, we have to go to Flanagan's. Like have to, have to, have yeah. to. That's your spot. That's my spot. I love me some flannel. It's your spot. Steve Pizza is my yeah, spot. Yeah, Steve Pizza is his spot. And Flanagan's is mine. And then we have a spot we, we don't have a spot we go to after that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nah. I no, because we either choose the Flanagan between the one that's on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's on Bar Harbor, the one that's. Yeah. But Flanagan's, they put the little garlic on the, yeah, on the, the hot garlic. wings. Oh my That's for sure. God. On, the, um, on the garlic bread. Mm. Yeah, they be bending. Listen. And then the food is so cheap. Like, it's real good food, yeah. but it's cheap. And then you get the good drinks. What? Yeah, and they give them big cups. Them food. big old cups. Yeah, so that's why I like Flanagan's. That's my go to. Um, But yeah, so we went. We had a great weekend. I came back to Charlotte. Um, then just kept trying to like plan when we're gonna see each other and then Georgie had started like Georgie was working like two jobs so then I had to come out there yeah, for, you spring came break, for spring break and um stay for a week spring break yeah. was an eye opener <laughs> Woo! How was the eye opener? you know exactly how it was an eye opener um <laughs> Let's just say after spring break we took a little we took a little break. We did. We did. How we took a break? You don't remember the story? No, we didn't take a break. Well, yes, we did. <laughs> you probably did take a break and didn't tell me. <laughs> no, you was the one who told me. Told you yeah. Come on. I went home. Uh -huh. We were still together. Uh huh. Then a few days later. You felt like you couldn't do her like that. And you was with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I felt like, oh, okay, well, I can't do it. But we did take a little break. So when do we... To be honest, I don't know how we got back home. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't think we, we did take a break. We did. Like... I was pissed. I didn't talk to you for a little minute. It it wasn't like a month or no shit like that. It was a few weeks. No, nah, more. We we not. Gonna Maybe it was a week. Talking. Maybe it was a week. Not even a week. During that long distance period, I don't think we went a day without talking to each other. Yes, we did, Papa. Because you start acting funny, <laughs> y'all. His memory is a little. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, like you start acting funny. Like it was one day you didn't respond to the next day. Oh, I was pissed. <laughs> oh, I was fucking hot. Okay, so then I was like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna fix you, cause if you gonna go a whole day, and then I'm like, I'm like worried, thinking something was wrong, thinking something happened to you, because that wasn't like you to like not respond. And then you hit me up the next day, like nothing happened. And I'm like, you okay? You good? I I didn't hear from you yesterday. You was like, yeah. The fuck? So I'm like, all right, cool. That's how we about to do this. Okay, cool. So I didn't hit you up. Now I start noticing like, I felt like you was like pulling back a little bit, cause you was dropping little hints. Hell, what kind of hints? You don't remember that? Like on your day off, you you like. I would think you'd be talking to me all the time, or whatever, and you'd be out doing whatever, hanging with your friends, whatever. And you just say little stuff like, oh, this was the best day I had in a long time. Or, or like, you would just say little stuff. Like, I remember, like, you kind of said something about not wanting to be in a relationship or something like that. And I'm like, oh, really? 
And he's like, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Like it was to me, it was like you was trying to do you out there in Miami, <laughs> but you didn't want to hurt my feelings. And me, I'm a like it ain't respected unless it's directed <laughs> kind of person. So you saw, I just felt like we was we both had like little moments of like falling back a little bit. So I kind of fell back a bit. But yeah, so you know, we just was going through that phase. I mean, long distance had taken its course. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere we got right back on track. Like I don't know what the conversation was like. I don't remember, but we ended up. Like, by the time I graduated, we were actually on a much better uh, space. space. And um, so, he was supposed to come out there for my graduation, but you did it. Whatever. And you sent me, like, this long message. That was really beautiful. Like, the day of my... Um, and that's, he's good at that shit, okay? <laughs> this, this nigga will send you a long-ass text making you feel like you fucking Superwoman. And you all in love and shit. <laughs> But, <laughs> he know he ain't shit. That's why he laughing. <laughs> Send me this long message. So, I was like, you know what? And then, oh, guys. Okay, so, we made, we had an agreement that we, that I was going to come to Miami. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Y'all. So, I'm about to buy my fucking ticket. And I'm like, because I, cause I had to get the money for the ticket. Again, I was working at Domino's, like. And uh, it's like trying to pay my car note and stuff. And so I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come out there, blah, blah. Then I get the money for my ticket. I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm about to buy my ticket. Oh, I don't know if you should come that weekend. I got some friends coming in. What? You remember that? Mm -hmm. So now I'm feeling like, well, sh what shit? Do I need to come? Do I need to stay my ass where I'm at? Like, what we doing? And then, um, then he finally was like, all right, come. So I buy my ticket. And honestly, I had a lot going on in Charlotte, so it wasn't even that I wanted to come be with you, I think, more so. It was just I wanted to come escape. Mm -hmm. And so, because I felt like you was acting funny, man. You was doing some real <laughs> funny shit. But but I was more so wanting to escape my problems in Charlotte. So, got on that plane. I was excited. But, like, when we're together, when we're in the same city, like, it's, it's good. Like, the energy's there, the vibe's there, the love is there. So, seeing him, you know, us being together was great. But then, it was some ups and downs. Like, you, when you live with somebody, I was living with y'all. Oh, my God. It was a lot. Yeah, that was an experience. <laughs> it was an experience. And in the beginning, it was good. Because George was so sweet. Like, okay, I moved to Miami. I don't have a job. So, he's like, all right. Like, payday. He'd give me his car. Tell me go, you know, go get something. Or, you know, buy myself something. Like, he was real sweet in that manner. And only guy I've ever dated that even, like, it was like that. Like, you gave me your whole debit card. You don't know if I'm going to run this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give me an amount to spend. He was just like, yeah, come get you some stuff. I'm like, what? But me being raised the way I was, I felt guilty as fuck buying something. So, I think I bought, like, maybe a shirt, oh, a dress. Man. And he was like, that's all you spent? I'm like, yeah. But we would go out to eat. We would just have fun. And um, like on his days off, it was always eventful. But it is like very interesting living with somebody. And because I was coming into his world, I had to do things his way. Um, We finally decided to move back to Charlotte. He decided to come. And now, you know what I mean, was when the real, real started. Was when we came to Charlotte. <laughs> Because now we're sharing a space. Like once we got our apartment. Now we're sharing a space. And this is my home and your home. Like you know what I mean. And so that's when it was like. Yeah, explosive. Yeah everything clashes. You know somebody yeah. wants you to act this way. Yeah. I wanted to act that way. You right. Know? It was a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of yelling and talking. But nobody was really listening. listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think toward the end. Of that year, of the least, you know, like we were in a much better space because of all the struggles that we've been yeah. through, of all the ups and downs, and, and we went through a lot. We went through, we went through so much that year, and yes. I think that year of like living together, it set the foundation. It set the foundation. Like if we could make it through that year, 
Um, like neither one of us gave up and you know, we saw something in each other and in, in, in the relationship. So we kept going. And I think that that first year is where we learned to, how to communicate with each other. Um, cause that was issue numero uno. Yeah. Um, you know, me, I was like, we both were exactly the same. Like we were both cancers. So we argue exactly the same and we both were very selfish in our arguing. It was like, well, I want you to do this. And if you're not doing what I want you to do, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like we had to figure out how to let all that go, let all the ego go, and learn how my partner wants to be spoken to. Because um, we were just like joking about it before we did this video. And his thing is, don't curse at him. And me, when I'm mad, oh, oh, I got some words for you. And my thing is, don't yell at me. Don't, who you yelling at? Who you getting loud with? And he would, get, you know what I mean? So it's like, we had to learn, like, okay, we can't do that. I, he, you know, she don't want me to get loud. Okay, I won't get loud. We'll talk. Da, 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 da. His thing is the cursing, so I won't, I won't curse at you, you know? And, um, and it took some time to adjust. adjust, but now, like, we know how to argue with each other, where it's, not to the point where we want to rip each other's heads off. Like, you know, we know, we know how to communicate with each other. And then another thing that I realized we had to learn was each other's love language. Because for him, love, his love language is physical. And mine is not. Like, mine is, I gotta hear it. I want to hear that you love me. I want to hear that I'm beautiful. Like, those things, if you don't say it, I don't know it. And so we had to go through that. You know, we, we had different love languages. So figuring each other's out and catering to each other it needs. Um, and of course, that's a communicating to figure that out. Yeah. So, you know, communication was huge or learning how to communicate that year was huge for us. Um, and look at us. Eight years later. <laughs> Eight years and two kids later. So, I mean, that first year was ooh, good God almighty. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's about it. Man. That's it. That's how we but got yeah, here. That's how so we got from here. my big bro, my my good friend, to my husband, yeah, to your boyfriend, <laughs> to my boyfriend, to my husband, <laughs> to my baby daddy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's the first one, you know. Yeah. Stay tuned for the part two coming up to you. Mhm. Mm so, thank you, guys. See you on the next See one. See you on the next one.